Hi everyone, welcome to Alpaca Life, where we talk about all things alpaca. I'm Tasha Butterfield, owner of Butterfield Alpaca Ranch in Nebraska. Welcome to my channel. You can find all of my social media links down in the description box, as well as links to anything that I refer to in this video. So, in this video we are talking about the importance of sorting alpaca fiber. And I bring this up now, early on in our series, because I'm going to be referring to it quite a bit. I have a lot of topics lined up to talk about in regards to alpaca fiber, and sorting is a fundamental necessity in my book when it comes to alpaca fiber. And that brings me to answering, why do we even sort? We have to sort because alpaca fiber in general, when it's growing on the alpaca, is inconsistent. It's not like sheep's wool, which is very consistent. Alpaca is inconsistent. So not only, you know, the whole body, but within the blanket of the alpaca. And that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. Talking about the blanket of the alpaca having inconsistencies, and what do you do about that? Because if you were to jumble that whole fleece together and have it processed into yarn, it's not going to be very good. So how do we get the good stuff? We sort, like separate the fiber out based on certain criteria. So you put like fiber with like fiber. And based on the characteristics of that little batch, you get to decide what it should become. So it can be its best self. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, so some of this criteria, now some people come up with their own way of doing it, their own way of kind of categorizing things for, uh, you know, whatever their business is. I know some certain mills have their ways of doing things, um, but I have taken a couple of classes, so I know there, there are different methods out there. The first class I ever took was called practical sorting, and so it kind of gave an overview of what sorting is and then how to look at the blanket make like look at what the majority of the blanket is and then consider all of it that which I understand that idea and it has its place but for my business that was not enough and I also did not get enough like hands-on experience I didn't feel um kind of like I caught it well enough to go home and and do it unsupervised <laughs> so i took another class and this is one that i actually hosted uh, this is the sort grade class system that was offered through suny kolbeski in new york and the link to this is down in the description box as well uh, you can go back and watch my video on shearing 2018 shearing day 2018 because i hosted this class along with a shearing seminar and these two things worked really to get really well together because shearing day is the first step in a successful sort. And I say that because when you take that blanket off, you want to keep it as intact as possible. You don't want to just throw it in a bag and get it all jumbled together because that's just going to create more work for you. So you want to keep it as intact as possible. And here's a little clip from shearing day in which you could see us um, intentionally keeping that together and laying it out on a sheet of plastic and then rolling it up, what is known as noodling, so that later on I can put it on a table, lay it out, and I know where fiber was growing on that certain alpaca. I can know where the head was, where the tail was, and I learn a lot more about my animals that way that helps not only in the future years with shearing and sorting their fiber, but also in making breeding decisions. All this information comes into play. Okay, so when I'm sorting, there's certain criteria I'm looking for. And like I said before, I'm wanting to put like fiber together with like fiber. So I sort it based on color, based on length, and micron. And in regards to micron, this is kind of, this is the part that's the hardest to do, I think. It takes the most practice to learn. And when it comes to this one, um, discerning micron, 
It's not something I can really teach you in a video. It really is a hands-on process. So seek out a class like the sort grade class system or something that might be offered in your area. I know there's regional association, APAC associations that offer these classes from time to time, but you can also host a sort grade class at your place or maybe a nearby alpaca farm that you can jointly do it with. Can um, You can bring this class to your area. It is offered a couple of times a year all throughout the country because it's based on who hosts it. Um, I was the first one to host it in the Midwest. And hey, if anyone else in the Midwest wants... Oh wait, I think there is one in 2019 um, in Missouri. So um, yeah, they're starting to pop up all over the place but stay up to date on their website when um, new classes are scheduled. Like I said, they're, they're throughout the country. And seriously consider hosting one and bringing it to your area because you learn so much and it seriously benefits your business. Okay, so I was talking about the grading system. This is a summary of what the grading system is. You have five grades. Each grade has a range of micron, and that's the hands-on learning that you need to do is, is how do you see and how do you feel to determine what grade this fiber is that you have in your hands. And by putting like fibers with like fibers, then you are maintaining the best qualities of that fiber. In a future video, I am going to talk about options you have for products at each of these grade levels because all fiber that comes off of an alpaca is useful for something. There is no reason that we should be throwing away any fiber. And now if we throw away fiber, we're just throwing away money or throwing away something usefulness. Like even your thirds can be used for things. Now, not super high-end product, but still things that, be can, that can be turned into revenue for your business. So that is a future topic coming up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with those who would enjoy it as well. Consider buying me a coffee over on my Kofi channel. The link is down in the description box. If there's other topics you want to make sure I cover in the future, leave a comment and let me know. And I will see you on the next video.